Hey, good morning, everybody. My good buddy Shane gave me a call yesterday, asked if I wanted to go fishing today. And of course, I'll never say no when somebody wants to come pick me up. Uh, as you can kind of see in the background, a little bit foggy this morning. Normally that might mean something, but to me it means it's gonna be a good day. Last week when I fished the tournament, weather conditions were much the same. Nice foggy morning to get started. Caught a nice limit of five, finished fourth. So hopefully today, Shane can show me the spots on Lake Elmer Thomas on Fort Sill and the Wildlife Refuge where he's catching all of his fish. Cause every time I go there, I can paddle around, paddle around. I don't get very many, but uh, Shane loves it. So it's always best to go with somebody that knows the lake, learn their tips and tricks if you're gonna fish later. So stay tuned and we'll get some good fish today. Well, first update of the day. I thought Shane said to be ready at six, that he'd be by here. No, he said 6.30. So I've been ready since about 5.45. I still got another 30 minutes to wait on him. I think I'll go grab some more Freedom Fuel. If you know what that is, you know it's good stuff. Out here on the water with my buddy Shane. Say hi, Shane. Hello. So we are actually in the middle of the lake. I don't know if you can tell because there's fog everywhere. I had to take my glasses off. The Shane's lightning fast boat on this no wake lake has uh, got my glasses wet. So you know where the fish are, right? No. You, That's why you fish this you. lake all the time. That's why I invited you. <laughs> okay. So it's not a big lake, but I can't see the shoreline. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm waiting for. To press through this fog. I'm just glad I'm not paddling. I paddled this. I the paddled area this. you're going is about a mile from the boat ramp. Yep. So visibility is what? Maybe a quarter mile yep. right now? So I'm going to leave the video running today. So if you catch something, yeah, it's gonna there's going to be a lot left on the cutting room floor today. Yeah, I can tell you that. You're going to be editing a lot. But uh, normally I just turn the video on after I've got the fish in the net. Yeah, because you never know when you're going to catch anything, and when you're out there for an eight hour tournament. Come here, you. Sweet. There is your smallmouth. No, that is a good large mouth. Big large. That's a good size one. Yeah, it just got me. You want to weigh them? I did bring sure. a scale. You got a scale, man. Might as well. What do you think? Four or five? He's looking close to five. That was actually a pretty reasonable hook I actually set on that guy. <laughs> or he set on himself, really. Well, that tells us spinner baits are. Uh... Apparently, spinner's the way to go. Yeah. Good, good call, though. Oh, I've hooked my net through his mouth. It's already on. He just throws. That's a neat little scale, man. Mine's like a... What we got here? Four, right at four, right at four. Nice. I'll That's a good that. start to the day. Yeah. He just got it. Let's get a, that one down. Got to get photos too. His tail again. All right. Sweet. Good start to the day. Got to do the classic, man. <laughs> That's what I like about those worms. Don't, don't you jump. That's another good one.
eight. All right. Yeah, that's what I like about those worms. Spinner bait well. and a uh, worm fish. That's why I like them worms. <laughs> I about lost that guy. Oh, I barely had him. I, I've still got my square bill. Luckily, it's a floater. Yeah. He's a little, he's a little thicker here. Yeah, he, he is. He ain't as big, but he's a little thicker. You got a good size to you, buddy. That's my favorite way to catch fish on them worms. Well, hunk. now you're gonna make me, uh, make me throw a worm. I can't believe it. Man, I don't see how some of these guys take these eighty thousand dollar boats back in that. I'll take my kayak back there. Oh yeah, I take a kayak back there. Really. But that may be what almost two miles from the boat ramp. Oh dude, that's gonna be a good distance. That'd be uh you know what? You can pull me. I'll just hold on to the rope. Don't don't pull. It's harder than what you think. Cause uh, one time I came out here and Brad came out here the day, same mm -hmm. day. He's like, dude, I'll drag you. And I'm sitting there holding on. It was not safe. Oh really? Yeah. I would suggest. What about tying on to the bow? Just throw yeah, throw like either tying off here or something, or just throwing the kayak on the back part. Just get there. Boom. <laughs> 